Smart home devices can give Alzheimer's patients medication reminders. Pet avatars and humanoid robots can offer companionship. Chatbots can help those suffering from trauma with their mental health. And researchers are developing AI-powered wheelchairs to help children navigate with more independence and avoid obstacles. AI-enabled caregiving raises questions about what forms of care and well-being should be encoded within these technologies. Indeed, raises the question as to whether technology can be engineered with realistic capabilities of care, such as compassion, responsiveness and trustworthiness. While some occupational knowledge can be standardised and codified, most care relations require improvisation and an understanding of changing context, things that are difficult, if not impossible, to capture in code. In elder care, companion robots will not replace the human decision maker who increases a patient's comfort through intimate knowledge of their conditions and needs. The use of AI technologies in caregiving should supplement existing caring relationships, not replace them, and should be integrated in ways that respect and sustain those relationships. Another important ethical concern, particularly of smart homes and robot companions, is the management of the data they collect about patients. A companion robot can allow relatives to monitor a senior family member living alone. Using an app, relatives can check on their loved one, access a network camera, and check sensors that track activity. Although intended for safety and companionship, such technology can also give control of data to family members, which raises serious questions about privacy and consent. There's an urgent need to subject care technologies to regulating bodies and pre-market approval that can intervene in the technical designs and guide use policies. While widespread use of AI applications in caregiving may seem inevitable, proactive oversight can put ethical practices into place prior to real-world use. These ideas are drawn from the report of the Coding Caring Workshop from the 2021 AI100 report. I invite you to read further into those reports.